I am the motographer. In 2019, I embarked on the journey of a lifetime on the fantastic Indian-made Bajaj Dominar 400s, christened as the XBB Dominar Creation Odyssey. The road trip went from New Delhi, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, and finally to the tip of Singapore and beyond to Sri Lanka. Here we go. Yes, we would have been able to come alone definitely. I'm saying if we were alone, we wouldn't have been to actually figure it out that we can come here. Sometimes they close because the people can go inside. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, this is nice. Finally, we were here in Singapore after riding through nine countries from India, and it was a great feeling to be here. The smallest country on this road trip, but also the most difficult to get into. Riding in Singapore was more of a learning experience than fun. Just like our Dominar, it taught us that your size doesn't decide your might. What matters is how good you are at what you do. We had a couple of days to explore this island of a country, but the most important task here was to ship the bike to India. Black clouds loom here in Singapore and thank God we have a local biker with us to take us around. It really makes a lot of difference in the confidence uh, in the number of places that you can go actually. So now we are going to try and get a better view of the skyline over there. Look at this bus. It looks like a concept bus. Or uh, uh, Unimog or something. Oh my god. Is this amphibious? Can you look? It's actually a boat. It's actually a boat. Oh my god. Oh damn. Jesus Christ, that is a boat. <laughs> And this is another iconic building of Singapore. I've seen it so many times, but I still don't know what it is. A short break to tell you about myself. In 2002, I founded XBHP, which is India's most popular motorcycling platform and print magazine. Since 2006, I have been riding around the world on choices of the motorcycles and supercars. Do check out the XBHP forums, which are a great place to discover fantastic information on motorcycling in India. Also help us sustain ourselves by picking up a copy of the XBHP print magazine delivered to you at your doorstep if you are in India or available at one of the premium bookstalls around India. You can also read the digital version online. 
The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to the Odyssey. All right, so I stand here in Singapore. After this, there is no land. There is no road. It's finished. It's just the sea, just the ocean. And uh, the most brilliant part is that there was not even a centimeter of break in the road. I mean, it was a continuous road from Delhi when we started till here. Come to think of it, 70% of Earth is covered in water. So this is a very rare thing that you can go such long distances like uh, via road, non-stop, uninterrupted. Uh, this trip was very different for me especially than the other rides like riding in Australia, Europe, US. Because we learned a lot of cultures, a lot of cuisines and we learned about war, for example, in Vietnam, Cambodia. And every country had its distinct um, culture, distinct uh, language, currencies. So it was quite uh, interesting, a uh, great learning experience. So all I can say is that now we are going to ship the bikes to Colombo. It will take around uh, 10 days. And then we are going to do our 63rd country, which is going to be Sri Lanka. And then we are going to ship the bikes back to New Delhi. So this has been an amazing, amazing odyssey. So we are here finally in Singapore, country number 10 for XPHP Dominar Great Asian Odyssey. And we couldn't be prouder reaching here because there has been a lot of planning that went into the making of this ride so far. Though it's not complete, but the major part of this ride is over. There has been a lot of preparations and planning that went into the making of XPHP Dominar Great Asian Odyssey. It was like a you know, the, the rocket launch, the countdown for rocket launch. There were a lot of things that had to go right and at the right time. We are glad that all these things went right. And we are so glad that we have these Indian made motorcycles finally here in Singapore after riding 14,000 kilometers. Thanks to Castrol Power One for keeping good care of our motorcycle engine. And also thanks to MRF tires for keeping us planted on the road. We would like to say thanks to our riding gear partner Rhinox and also thanks to Exor Helmets for keeping us safe. And finally, yes, Zana, they have completely transformed this motorcycle into something else. So that's it guys. Thank you so much everyone, all our sponsors and thank you God Almighty for making it a success. A big thanks to our guide in the city, Is Hardy, as well for showing us around. But before we called it a day, we met another group of bikers in Singapore who are originally from Myanmar, but now are based out of Singapore. Hi, yeah, we are from Burmese Python. We established 2013. Yeah, so we, we always welcome all the bikers in Singapore. And I hope more bikers coming to Singapore and I hope to see all the bikers. Yeah, but before this, I would like to hand over this gift to you. I hope you enjoy your trip all the way back to India. Great. And this is amazing, you know, look at this. So the beautiful part is that we also went to Myanmar on this very ride. And they have shown this great gesture and I mean, look at their motorcycles, you know, like Night Rod, Fat Boy, uh, Indian uh, BMW 200 GS, the, the benchmark for all riders around the world if you are into adventure touring i must say the dominar is not looking bad with that the big daddy right look at that so well that's it and thank you so much really over and because i think it's almost 10 pm yeah you've come and given this to us oh, pleasure.
Yeah, and if you come to India, yeah. everyone is welcome. Thank you so much. To see you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank Thanks. You. Yeah. Yeah.